I believe it's always a lofty, uh, it's always a very um, aspirational dream, especially for us Indians. Every, I, I believe every child when they are growing up at some point, they want to be a pilot. It, it crosses their mind at some point uh, is what I think. The, there's a select few who actually get to become pilots and, and we're uh, amongst those uh, few um, who can, you know, call ourselves pilots. So I flew for a little bit um, here in the U.S., um, back in India, did medical flying, did corporate flying, did commercial flying, um, did some aerobatics and some other bush planes, hot air balloons. So did the whole plethora of um, aviation, got the runaround. Uh, but before aviation started, I was always very uh, keen to become an astronaut. And then I shared with my father the the true, you know, dream and passion to become an astronaut. And, uh, you know, in the U.S., you have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to go to U.S. Air Force. You have to go to NASA. And yes, that's where the dream, you know, thins out a little bit. And then, you know, you, you lose sight of it. But I never did. And uh, after my flying in uh, India and um, abroad and everything I did, I kind of started to look at opportunities where um, the original dream can come alive. And that's where I got the opportunity with Blue uh, to kind of uh, be on this mission. Um, it's been in the works for a little bit. Uh, it didn't happen right away. Um, and finally, um, it's happened now. Um, so NS25 um, is scheduled, um, as you see on the news, um, and we will be going to um, lower Earth orbit um, uh, in the near future. So that's the whole two cents of it. It's something that um, is not in the Urban Dictionary. It's something that I think I take with me, not just my feelings, but the feelings of numerous hundreds of people I've met in my travels, in my in my journey um, through life and through India um, to kind of give um, and share the moment uh, to actually leave, um, you know, the place where we're born and where we die and, and look at it from the other side. And it's, uh, I always told people this, that, you know, from the, from the time you're born till the time uh, you leave, um, you wake up and you want to see the sky. You wake up, you go outside your room, you look up, you wake up and you get fresh air, you get, you take a breath. But I want to have the opportunity to to do the reverse, which is go up there and see what it's like to 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 have an idea of what we go through on a day-to-day -day life, our whole life, you know, before we leave. Uh, and and that's the whole idea is to look back on centuries of humans and 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 evolution on on what it really reflects. The movies are fantastic, you know, they do a good job and et cetera. But what the naked eye can see uh, is uh, something you have to do yourself. So that's the excitement is for me to look back at um, Mother Earth and kind of see where we are born, where we go by our day, where we fight, where we play, where we're happy, where we're emotional, uh, and, and then take that in. And that's the whole uh, excitement is to just look back and see uh, what's going on with, without, uh, you know, uh, being interrupted or without being documented or without being shown through somebody else's eyes or through a movie camera. So that's the whole excitement, if I can sum it up for you. The vision behind, um, and I speak um, as a, um, this is my personal opinion, but Blue Origins, you know, tagline or, or, or statement, if you if you go on the website, is for the benefit of Earth. Um, and that's what's very, very important to notice here. It says for the benefit of Earth, and I, I, this comes from the horse's mouth, um, Jeff Bezos himself. Uh, it is for them to protect Mother Earth, that they are seeking for life and adventure outside the planet. So everything that they do, everything that they're, you know, all the amount of time, more than anything else, more than the money, all the all the effort that's put in is to explore the, the you know, the, the space beyond. Uh, why? Because that's how we can protect Mother Earth. This is my interpretation of, of Blue's uh, mission and tagline. And that's kind of, that kind of gets me to what you just mentioned, you know, Tanya, about you know, you also wanted to be a pilot, but only a very few get to do it. It's actually wrong. I mean, only a very few don't get to do it. It really is my the legacy and mission on NS25 is to tell uh, the next generation that it's not the few. If you can dream it, you can do it. And that's kind of what... Um, I'm I'm behind. I'm behind the next generation to really dream to do whatever they want. Okay, fine. Astronaut is amazing. Every time you go to, you know, I've given a lot of talks in schools and universities in India, and and a lot of kids say that I ask them, what would you like to do when you become, you know, what is your dream, doctor, 
lawyer somebody will say politician you know so like that um, the, the the list goes on where that's what india is made of right it professionals etc somewhere far in the corner in a fortnight somebody would say pilot but not one person said astronaut and it always ticked me off it said why why not astronaut if we have to be an astronaut we have to go to nasa we have to be a us citizen we have to you know who will go to the us how will it go my parents won't allow this barrier is what i want to break i want to break the barrier of allowing the next generation to think free and i say that dreams are free and those who steal those dreams are criminal and that's what i've always said let them dream they're free to dream whether it becomes a reality or not it depends on the individual but if you don't even let them dream let it be a teacher a parent an advisor a friend anybody a stranger if that person is discouraging you to dream then um, you know you, you'll never get there so that's kind of my uh, take on 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 that i think um, the mission for blue origin and some of the other companies that are out there is to make it affordable and and what that affordable number is is something that i am not privy to but it is to make it affordable and that has to start somewhere um and that's what blue is doing they've done 24 missions uh and this is ns25 um uh, many of them being payload uh flying postcards flying drawings flying things that um students can send um and receive back saying that it's been uh to to um space and come back is uh, absolutely phenomenal um i think it's a great uh, push um to try to encourage those individuals who cannot actually go up there but for those who can go up there um it's the, the the it's it's very near uh and and blue origin is i believe uh the best at what is doing right now is to make that um an affordable feat uh and right now if you see blue is also tying up with other agencies such as nasa to potentially build the first private international space station um to really grow space tourism and really get into that sector so i believe that space tourism is where the future is um and second of all is we have 1.417 billion people in our country in you know on our motherland and every time somebody goes to space whether it's from the state side whether it's russian whether it's chinese or whether any other countries they're either military they're either you know billionaires they're either government officials it's not the common person it's not a civilian and that's what i was focusing on is if a civilian can get to space without having the all family background of military and etc cetera, etc cetera, then everybody can and and that is space tourism is to take that person who is not an astronaut who doesn't have a science background who doesn't have all the engineering and all the maths and physics figured out as you know a lot, a lot of people are a fond of maths and physics but they can still go up there take a peek and come right back and then live the rest of their life because it would absolutely change their life